In this movie, we will troubleshoot the phenomenon of thick lines in print. We'll look at what causes it and how you can fix it. Starting from a drawing like this, when we go to print it, whether to hard copy or to PDF, what we'd expect to see would be output like this. So this is a PDF file being viewed in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. What some users report is that they see a drawing that looks like this, as you can see, the lines are way too thick. Well, it's very easy to fix. In Star Draw Design 7, under Tools, Personalization, Settings, there is a value here called Minimum Printed Line Width, and the default value is 0.1 of a millimeter. The reason we have Minimum Printed Line Width is because in today's very high resolution printers, which might support a resolution of say 1200 dpi, a hairline or a zero width line would be printed at one twelve hundredths of an inch thick. This would make a line very faint and hard to see. So with minimum printed line width we enforce a minimum thickness on any line in print. The problem comes where some users might change the unit of measurement and not change the value. So with this setting every line is now going to be a tenth of an inch thick. Let's see what that looks like. If we print the drawing, give it a file name, block schematic, and wait for the file to be created. There it is. Now we open this, and that is the bad result. Thick lines in print. If you do want to use inches in your minimum printed line width setting, the recommended value is about three thousandths of an inch. So now let's take a look at the result of this. Again, we print. We'll call the drawing block schematic 01. That's now been created. And now we open it up in Adobe Acrobat and you can see that the line widths are just right. So in Star Draw Design 7, if you ever see thick lines in print, check the setting under Tools, Personalization, Settings for minimum printed line width. Recommended settings are three thousandths of an inch or one tenth of a millimeter. Thank you for watching.